Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kipadger.com, out here for another episode in my flash mitigation series. And today, taking a look at this little guy right here, which is the Sig Spear LT 7.62x39, and this guy right here, which is their SLXC, I believe, 762 can flow through. So, gonna run some rounds through this. Muzzle flash, get you killed in the streets. It is real, and depending on what you're pairing, whether it's can, gun, ammo, all these things have a like play out in how much of a signature you have. How much does it matter? Really, it comes down to application. If you are in a role where muzzle flash is important, then yeah, it's absolutely important. If you're out shooting with your buddies at night, you like to talk about reduced signature. Also cool, just probably not a consequence tied to it. But if you're looking for information, check the rest of the series, I've done a bunch of different stuff, but yeah, tonight gonna put some rounds through this. I have a pretty good idea of how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna do it. Sunset, probably about, I don't know, 15 minutes ago or so, and gonna run through five rounds of a number of different ammos, because ammo actually usually plays a pretty big role and i think i have four different ammos here run through five rounds each of these throw a can on reload mags and one more time through but right here we're going to go ahead and start with this wolf i want to say 122 grain full metal jacket fancy and here we go i don't know if that was noticeable for you it was for me all right, moving on. This is some Bernal, I think 123 grain, full metal jacket. That actually seemed a lot blastier. And also Bernal, 125 grain soft point. Hopefully these will all feed these metal mags and soft point don't always mix. All right, right here, I think 100 and, I'll write it later, I forget. Basically some Hornady SSTs. This is actually brass cased, made by Idaho Ordnance Factory. Let's see how this does. Wow, ammo matters. All right, I'm gonna jam these back up and we'll get this can on and do it again. I'm going to go ahead and throw this can on. I got those mags jammed back up. And we'll see what happens. All right. Starting back with our Wolf 122 grain full metal jacket. I don't think I adjusted my gas setting. Oh, well, we're rolling with it. Uh, next up. Bernal, 123 grain, I think, full metal jacket. Definitely blast year. And Bernal soft point, 125 grain. gas all right last up Idaho ordnance factory something grain hornady load and we lock back there we go what are my thoughts honestly i think one of the coolest things is this really illustrates how much ammo matters because it's one of those things where you can go spend all the money get the fancy can because you need your limited signature no flash and then you go buy trash like steel cased ammo which sparks and does all kinds of crazy stuff flamethrower or you can go buy ammo that has some sort of like 
flash suppressant in it, which I'm guessing this stuff maybe does. I don't know. Definitely a night and day difference from shooting that steel case. 7.4 inch, 7.62 by 39. Like, there's only so much you can really do with that. And so, what are my thoughts on this setup? Honestly, with the right ammo, I think it's pretty solid, especially considering it's a 7.4 inch, 7.62 by 39. And a K can flow through. So, a lot of things going on right there. But honestly, I'm really impressed with the appropriate ammo pairing. But uh, yeah, this is another episode in the flash mitigation series. Hopefully it's been helpful. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.